So last two videos have been all about making Roger. Now we need to paint him and just finish off any of the, th the, the final details just to get him looking right before we light him. And that's what this video is all about. So let's dive right in. So as always, we'll get going with the eyes. Um, and obviously um, the eyes have already been done. They've already been created in the last video. It's up above if you want to have a look at it um, and see how we got to, we got those lovely blue eyes. So really what I'm focusing on in this video is the, the what we call the tertiary part. So the third part, the detailing. And I'm going around the model now and I'm looking for any way to make it work better. So. What I'm doing at the moment there is I'm building what we call volume around the eyes. So I'm building up the eyelids. This particular character, I probably won't make him blink. It's, you know, this is just, you know, for fun more than anything. So I don't need to go too far. I don't have to even, I'm not even going to re-topologize this model probably. So it's really just making it look good from the angle that I want, which is, you know, it's, it's a piece of fan art. So that, that's a choice that I've made. So there I'm, I'm a, 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 like tweaking by using the move tool and just basically pulling the spikes out of, of his of his hair and um, the hair isn't very realistic it's just one single piece as you probably saw in the earlier videos hopefully so i'm now going to do a number of things so i'm going to keep using things like the crease tool and the move tool and wherever there's something like a cheek fold i'm going to use the move tool to fold it under and it get and then if if that needs any more volume i'll either either use the inflate tool or just clay on the surface and that's a very normal um process that i would use most of this would be um, a move tool for, for, for a lot of it. So I'm looking for if there's anything wrong on the surface, any bumps or lumps, or it just looks odd from an angle, I'm going around and just checking it and making sure it's in the right place. Holding it against it, it, the, the actual artwork, just seeing if it fits, make sure that all of the limbs are in place. So a bit of detailing then. So I'm using the trim tool there to trim off the ears now and I'm getting the nice rounded ear shape around, around the edges. So I'll remesh that. So voxel merge or voxel remesh it. Um, we never use Boolean. I'm going to do a video about the difference between Boolean and voxel merge uh, soon. Um, so there I'm just adding volume all the way around the edge. So I'm going in and making it look fatter around the edge like, you, like, you, like you'll see on a real rabbit. And then crease tool to go in and add definition. So that then puts the little line around the edge of the ear. Um, check, again, I've remeshed it a few times so that the, the mesh went quite low res and then I've subdivided it back up. So, and again, I think it would be good, good time to do another video on, on, on the difference between um, uh, remeshing and you know doing a subdivide or subdivision because we do it all the time and it's not always easy for for someone who's just coming new to this now i made a mistake there i didn't have something um i'm about to put it on there you can see so i i hadn't got front facing vertex only on again i think that's the second time i've done it what it meant was on thin areas you go through the mesh so have a look top right of the screen you can see that, that there that that's that's what I needed to do is turn that on and it stops that see that that indent in the surface there that's that's the mistake if you're you know if, you, if, if you're not watching so I've gone back fixed that one uh, I need to fix the back of it at the top as well so that little mistakes happen all the time and you're always looking how to tweak them and get them fixed so the ears are nearly done now. Um, again, if, uh, you know, one ear is bent back, don't forget, and one ear is bent forward. So that you know, the, the inside of one is 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 upwards, and then the inside of the other is down. So I just went to the paint brush and then painted a pink, and you can see it's gone through as well. So I didn't have the front facing vertex on again. So that th these are definite watch outs. So I had to go back and just tweak that. Um, uh, as you can see, I, ju I just literally went back in and painted it with white. And that's pretty much all I needed to do. I'd pulled everything else into place quite quickly and it's kind of looking how I wanted it. Now, the big thing is from this point on, the, the, it's a very, very simple model to paint, but it doesn't look how we need it to look. It, it, it's basically got um, all of the, you know, it's got enough of a paint job, enough of a sculpt on it but the lighting is off. So what I'm gonna do is next video, I'm gonna do a full lesson just on how I would light something like this. And I'll show you what the final result with the backdrop looks like. 
Thanks for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. It does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of thing. And if you liked us enough to give us a thumbs up, then please subscribe down below. You know how to do it by now. And we can let you know when we upload new content. Thanks very much and have a great week.